He is a hotel magnate, a casino mogul, a real estate developer, an art collector, a Republican mega donor, and reportedly an agent of China. The U.S. Justice Department has sued Steve Wynn to register as an agent of China. The suit filed in a Washington, D.C. court argues that Wynn leveraged his relationship with former U.S. President Donald Trump and members of his administration to advance Beijing's interests in 2017. He is now facing a civil lawsuit under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. The government says that it is the first affirmative suit under this act in more than 30 years. The U.S. administration said that the 80-year-old billionaire discussed Beijing's interests directly with Trump during a dinner in June 2017. The former finance chairman of the Republican National Committee allegedly contacted Trump and members of his administration to convey China's request to cancel the visa or to remove from the United States a Chinese business person. In the past, Wynn has had significant business interests involving China. He owns and operates casinos in Macau. The U.S. Justice Department says he had been acting out of a desire to protect his own business interests. He stepped down as the RNC finance chairman in January of 2018 and as CEO of Wynn Resorts a month later in the face of allegations of sexual misconduct. He, however, has denied the charge. Both Wynn and his wife have remained prolific political donors, according to the Federal Election Commission filings. They contributed about $2.5 million to Republican candidates and committees in the first three months of the year. The Justice Department has said that Wynn has approached to work with China by longtime GOP and Trump fundraiser Elliot Broidy, who worked under Wynn as the deputy RNC finance chairman after Trump's 2016 victory. Elliot Broidy pleaded guilty in October 2020 to acting as a foreign agent, admitting to accepting millions of dollars to secretly lobby the Trump administration for Chinese interests. The Foreign Agents Registration Act of FARA makes it, makes it legally binding for those who lobby or provide public relations services for foreign governments to disclose those activities to the Justice Department. So for a foreign, when a foreign government uses an American as its agent to influence policy decisions in the United States, FARA gives the American people a right to know. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.